This is really good advice. Thank you, Lainey. I just took a picture of that off of your video. Thank you, hon. Too mad means I eat two meals a day. I also do not eat any animal products or processed foods when I'm at home. This is me in 1980. Took me 35 years to gain 120 pounds. And I was really, really sick with food and drink related illnesses. This is me. A couple of pictures of the before and the now. And I feel so healthy and good. Those were size 12 pants, and these ones are my 10s that I got for Christmas. I am feeling good. Hello. Hello. Uh, January 12th. All right. Uh, January 15th. <laughs> we're home from getting groceries, and we ate in the truck. So there'll be a little mukbang. Uh, oh, it's almost chilly. I guess we're going to do a little grocery haul here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Five la garden salads because I can eat one of these like one day, two days, three days, four, one a day. It's only 12 ounces. I could eat all that in a meal with my potatoes. I believe it. <laughs> okay. Some people wanted to see his meat, so here's his bacon. Schneider's. I don't know where the... It doesn't matter. The price just does it, people. Everything is expensive. Come over here, hon. You can hardly see you. Or I'll move this. <laughs> well, All right, there. I can see you. Crackle barrel cheese slices. Herb and garlic. We didn't buy such expensive cheese when I was eating cheese. Cheese is one of the worst things that you can eat. Pepperoni, mild. Oh, gee, they're fatter. <laughs> they're small, but they're fatter. Mini seedless. Oh, he said, oh, that was four dollars. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, two the same, because those are the ones that's got all that crap in them. The whole big look. Oh, he's got a bunch of soups here, too. He's well, got... I'm just going to take one of each. Oh, he's going to show one. How many have you got of each? Four of each. Oh, he's got four vegetable and four chicken noodle. I'll take them over there. That's it. Well, eat them in case they freeze now, huh? Yeah, there's not room for freezing. Either. Yeah, and they were... They're in there most every day. Things might not freeze that way. There. Well, it's a small grocery haul. A small grocery haul. I'm a poet and don't know it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I didn't wear my rings. Because the other day, then my pink one fell off my finger. Here at the house. I was glad it was here at the house. Yep. Well, I'm going to still put that stuff away. Check or stop it. that. This is... Good morning, good morning. Yeah. All right. Toodly do. Toodly do. Me again. I'm gonna put away my purse and my coat and change into my inside cozies. I'm not gonna wear my new jeans around the house here for the cats to pick and get all uh, full of hair fur. I'll be back. Well, people,
yeah so I got things put away and uh, I just picked I don't know how maybe a half a cup of blueberries out of that but moldy so anyway I got some very special mail today from a very special girl and if it wasn't for you two we would never have met and yeah we became very close and probably about well I know it's over seven months probably maybe a year anyway and isn't this the sweetest I love polar bears I don't know how she knew I love polar bears and there's a she wrote to us and it says hope this season brings many things that make you smile yeah she makes me smile all the time buddy makes me smile all the time and in the card is this here little right angel I don't know, it's blurry to me, it's blurry, I don't know if it is to you guys or not. Anyway, it's a little angel in some kind of something. And you hold on to her and it's supposed to help with your worries and stress. So, I think I'll name her D. I've been holding her ever since I got her, <laughs> just a, a few minutes ago. When I went through the mail and of course the card smells like all the other mail so I have to put it somewhere in another room until I and then it'll be out here and it'll be saved until next year and the year after and the year after that. Thanks Dee. Love you. Here we are again. Same day. January 15. January 15. I'm still holding on to my angel called D. Now, Richard, we went into the the bargain shop here. That's Canadian store. All towns don't have them. There's one in Halifax and one in Yarmouth and one in Shelburne. And it's our only. Well, I guess it's a department store. Um. And so he got this bag. I forget how much the bag costs, but I don't know where the the slip is now. The receipt. Oh, here it is in here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna lay my little angel down for. I got a pair of these same jeans in a size 8 just in case it ever happens like who knows from now until next summer next fall next winter who knows I don't and I want to be prepared I want to be prepared and they didn't have the dark blue they just had the black so I don't care for the black that much, but it's all I could find. And I got myself just a second now. I know I'm slow. Slow, slow, slow. I don't know who put this back on here, but. And it's beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Peekaboo. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> but, um. It's. I would call it some kind of a rose color, dusty rose, or a dark, dusty rose. 
but it's gorgeous. I love it. And I did spend, which I didn't know, I thought it was $15, but when I looked at the receipt, it says $34. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I was a size 44D, and now, yeah. I mean, she says, don't lose any more up there. <laughs> well, I can't help where it's going from, but it's going all the right places. I don't want to be 44D up top and size 10 at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, this has got a bit of a smell to it, but not very much. It's really nice material. It's, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. I've never had a bra that expensive in my life before, but... Okay, now I'm going to have to put these blue black jeans away. I'm going to have to wash this. And that was my haul from the bargain shop. Bargain shop. Shop. Bargain shop. Jeans, bra, bag.